It's Monday, April 10th, and this is Tommy Media's News in 90. I'm Noah Brown. A St. Thomas student is in stable condition following surgery after accidentally being shot in the head by another student on the fourth floor of Flynn Hall Friday night. The incident is currently being investigated as an accidental discharge of a firearm, not as an act of violence. Check TommyMedia.com for the latest on this developing story. Airlines are getting better at sticking to their schedules, are losing fewer bags, and their customers seem to be complaining less often. An annual report on the quality of U.S. airlines released by researchers at Wichita State and Embry-Riddle Aeronautical Universities takes into account on-time performances, lost bags, and customer complaints, among other factors. While many airlines received their highest rating in years, several people involved with the study believe all airlines can and should do better. The Wells Fargo Board of Directors was able to recover another $75 million from two former executives following a report released Monday, further linking the executives to last year's scandal. The report blamed the bank's top management for creating an aggressive sales culture that led to the opening of millions of unauthorized accounts for customers. The 110-page report has been in the works since September and will now force the clawback of compensation from former CEO John Stumpf and community bank executive Kerry Tolstead. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Noah Brown.